Welcome to our digital connectivity video on IOLink and connecting IOLink in the field. IOLink has been widely accepted in recent times simply because it's a very, very uh, capable and yet uh, very simple network to understand and to, to deploy in the field. It generally consists of blocks that are talking onto a main uh, network like uh, Profinet. Uh, in this instance here or on this side we have Ethernet IP. Um, it could also be Profibus, there could be CC Link, it could be other networks. So it's a sub-network where we actually link these field networks to individual devices. But not like an I.O. block where they just link to simple devices. These are smart ports where they can actually link to digital devices. So uh, to give you an example, this is a block of eight uh, for a standard industrial application. And this is a similar one but used in a hygienic application, so therefore in stainless steel. So a couple of the options that you can do with any of these uh, ports on here. Uh, you firstly, you have your ethernet uh, coming in and out ne necessarily. So in other words, uh, as an example here, which means it can go onto a redundant ring topology, which makes it uh, easy to put into the field. You have uh, additional power supply that can be brought into the modules, so therefore you've got enough power locally to be able to power whatever devices you've got uh, installed. And then you've got your, in these instances, both of these examples have eight IOLink ports. These ports are also quite functionally capable in the fact that they can be set up as just a digital output. In other words, this first port could be used and is connected here just to a, a solenoid valve in 24 volts DC. So in other words, it's operating just as a traditional IO block. However, the ports can also talk digital communications to the devices in the field. So as an example, a similar IO link port in this instance is talking to a block that has four valves in there controlling actuators in the field. Alternatively, if we come over here, we see we have a block talking to eight valves in the field. So these valves are all controlled via the IO-Link block. And of course, on that same type of network port, in this example here, we have up to 24 valves connected on a single IO-Link port. Now the nice thing is, this IO-Link doesn't just control the valves, so we're not just saving wiring, but all of the asset management and diagnostic information of this device is also passed up to the IO-Link block. So in other words, you've got a complete footprint of everything that's uh, in that device is being communicated up into the uh, IOLink head. So, and that gives you a lot of functionality and a lot of features. So, as I mentioned, you can control all of these different devices, whether they be modulating valves, on-off valves, or uh, control valves. To give you an example, I will just operate this uh, 8691 head, which is on a modulating valve here uh, from the Ethernet panel, Ethernet IP panel, and I can operate and open and close that. So whilst I can open and close that, this is also hot swap capable. So in other words, let's just say a forklift backs into this head and smashes it. So you disconnect the network with a simple M12, which is the entire wiring in IOLink. There is no cables to connect, etc. So that's now we replace that head, and when we put a new one in, it will automatically reconfigure and make itself fully operational again. So as you can see, it's quite easy to integrate and there's quite a lot of information available in any IO-Link uh, network. So as well as valves and the modulating control and sense, we also can do sensors, and we're showing examples here of a pressure sensor and also a temperature sensor, which I can wrap my hands around, and you'll see in the main system the temperature is increasing. Okay, so what products does Burkett have available? Um, Burkett has quite a range of products available as you can see here. On-off valves, modulating valves, rotary valves of both on-off and modulating as well, um, the complete blocks, uh, IP67 blocks for the field, uh, DIN rail blocks for inside panels, um, control tops to go on hygienic valves and a lot, lot more as well as all the knowledge and accessories to put it all together into complete systems. And there you have it, that's our overview to IO-Link.